My name is Donald Prothero. I'm research associate at the Department of Vertebrate Paleontology, Natural History Museum, Los Angeles County. Um, my name is Catherine Long. I'm Don Prothero's master's student. Um, I'm looking in the Department of Geological Sciences at Cal Poly, and here we're here at SCP 2017, Calgary, Canada. So the animal we're studying is the famous saber-toothed cat. Uh, Smile down fatalis is its scientific name. It's a state fossil of California. It's represented by thousands and thousands of bones at the La Brea Tar Pits. And what we were trying to see is use those bones to solve an interesting problem that had never been done before. The La Brea Tar Pits are one of the best places to do many kinds of projects. Huge samples of many, many types of mammals. It's the only place in the world that has a large number of bones of things like juveniles, kittens of saber-tooth, and cut puppies of dire wolves, and so on. So there's a great potential for that collection. Um, it's well established that they're incredibly robust animals. They have very broad chests and really short, stout um, limbs. But we didn't really know too much about their kittens. We just knew as adults they were just really, really muscle-bound. So we wanted to know what they were like as kittens. Um, there was this excellent paper looking at growth patterns in modern cats. And we took that paper and we applied it to this project in uh, Smilodon kittens. And basically what we did, we measured the length of, the, of their limb bones. And we also took the circumference of their limb bones, the middle of part of their bone shaft. And then we plotted that on a graph and to see um, basically the growth rate at which these bones are growing longer versus how robust they're getting, how thicker. And uh, we ultimately came up with our results. So what we tried to find out is how do saber-toothed cats become so powerful and muscle-bound in their forelimbs? And we found that they actually grow like every other cat. They grow really, really rapidly when their limbs get, limbs get really long. So to solve the mystery, we ended up looking at their growth curves against other kinds of cats and found out the babies start out muscle-bound and then they grow like every other cat. Really the surprising thing about the data was that, yes, cat, these cats grew like other modern felids, but in regards to um, the range at which they did, they grew with a lot more gracility, meaning that they were grew much longer um, than they did wide. So it was really interesting to see that although we, we have these really robust, huge animals, they are still growing just as delicately as the small jungle wildcat.